New tonight, Carter Lake residents hope to put a stop to mischief at their front doors. A watchful neighbor armed with cameras takes to social media, trying to catch thieves getting into vehicles and garages. So far, it seems the crimes have been petty, but as KATV News Watch 7's Adrian Witz had found out tonight, some worry what's next. Adrian joins us live. And Rob, that worry seems to be less about their property and more about the safety of the two people you're about to see from that surveillance video. Uh, the social media storm is starting to gather steam in Council Bluffs. Jason May never knows what will show up on his home surveillance. And at this time, they are heading over to uh, check in the Jeep. Saturday morning, at least six of his cameras catch two guys trying their luck in his and his neighbor's driveways. Anybody that's up at 5 a.m. in dark clothing in freezing temperatures trying to get into people's homes, garages, or vehicles is up to no good. Jason hasn't hidden his cameras. And while the two guys hid their faces, May worries about the next person who sees them. As you've seen on social media, a lot of people are really upset about this, and I'm, I'm afraid for their safety along with the safety of everybody in the neighborhood because what, you know, what's it going to take before somebody gets hurt? After placing videos on Facebook, others in the Carter Lake Club area started sharing their stories about little items missing or ransacked or a straight up intrusion. Uh, the scary part is, is uh, they entered my residence. And, and, you know, that's where really bad things can happen. Bill Blankenship, a former policeman, knows he should have locked his door. He's worried about the fear setting into the neighborhood and knows of at least one person ready to do something about it. He now has his rifle, not loaded, but he's got it outside of the case and next to his bed. That's scary. I mean, what in your house other than a life is, is worth taking one? Ashley Stevens just wants these guys caught before that's even a possibility. I'm trying to be proactive before something happens and everyone goes, well, why didn't anybody do anything? And to reiterate, this is in Carter Lake, not Council Bluffs. And what they're doing now is making sure that all their doors are locked, whether it's to their home, their garage, or their vehicle. Jason May says he hopes that the guys who are doing it see this and see the videos on Facebook and just stop altogether. Reporting live in Carter Lake, Adrian Whitsett, KETV News Watch 7. Adrian, thanks.